As the planet went into lockdown, pollution plummeted. The coronavirus pandemic had choked the biggest source of CO2 emissions, human activity. But there were huge disparities between seemingly comparable places. This is the tale of two cities. The coronavirus pandemic has come with one unintended but welcome consequence. The biggest ever reduction in the volume of carbon dioxide released into the world's atmosphere has been recorded since March. During lockdown, Paris and New York looked the same. Shops closed, streets empty. But in the skies above, a very different picture was emerging. Take Paris. In March, the city saw a drop in CO2 of around 70%. Now compare New York, which has a very similar population density. Like Paris, it was also in lockdown during March. Despite this, the drop in CO2 emissions was just 10%. So why is there such a contrast? The answer lies in energy. In the wake of the 1973 oil crisis, the Prime Minister, Pierre Mesmer, made a crucial policy to generate all of France's electricity from nuclear power. Le lancement de 13 centrales nucléaires. It was highly controversial, but today 75% of France's energy comes from nuclear. In New York, the situation is somewhat different. Its reliance on fossil fuels dates back to the 1880s, when it boasted the world's first electric generation and distribution system developed by Thomas Edison. And while many cities now import their power from further afield, New York City has retained some of that history. Today, the city still has 24 power plants of its own. In Paris, the nuclear power plants admit no CO2. So when the cars disappeared, so did almost all of the city's fumes. In New York, the traffic is notorious, but it's not a big contributor when you compare it to the rest of the city's total infrastructure. So lockdown only made a dent on overall emissions. Two cities, two very different outcomes. The consequences of historic decisions revealing themselves in a modern crisis. For more information on this topic, keep an eye out for the other episodes in our climate series.